Hey, how's it going guys? I want to show you a quick tip and how you can quickly generate your icons for your favicon, uh, your Apple device, your Android device, and um, you know all these different devices all in one place. Uh, I have a test website running on my local server here. Uh, this is just a uh, Yeoman website right out of the box. And the website that I'm going to be using to generate all my icons is this website, realfavicongenerator.net. Um, I really like this website. I'm glad that I found it. I used to create all my icons from scratch, and then um, then I would have to resize all of them for all the different devices, and then handwrite all the code and uh, put that into the header of my website. But since I've found this website, it makes all that really easily. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Now you do already have to have your picture that you want to use for your website. Um, this website isn't for that. It's not for creating the picture. It's for uh, resizing the picture and giving you the code to use that um, uh, once it generates those for you. Um, so you need to have a picture first. Uh, over here on my desktop, uh, I have one here called icon.png. And you can see down here before you select your picture, it says that you want to submit a square picture at least 70 by 70 and it should be at least 260 by 260 for optimal results. Um, this picture I have here for my website is I believe 800 by 800 so it is plenty big. Um, so I'm going to uh, click, click on select your fave icon picture and then I'm going to navigate over here to my desktop then I'm going to select this icon.png and open that and once that's finish generating it'll give you a bunch of different options here I usually just leave these as is but you can play with these if you want um, you can mess around with uh, some of the colors uh, some of the margin sizes here if you look up here at the picture um, you can change the margin between your pictures but like I said I usually just leave these as the defaults uh, one that I usually change is for this uh, Windows 8 tile I usually try to pick a picture or an image uh, a background color that looks a little bit better with uh, my icon here and then you can even uh, choose your own but uh, I'm not gonna fuss too much with this right now I'll just uh, pick black there and or this dark blue and then kinda move on but you can match that closer to your icon if you want um, but yeah there's a lot of different uh, options here I usually just leave these as default and then once you have all that set then you can go down here and finalize and generate your favicons and your HTML code and once that finishes, it does a couple of things here. So it has your downloadable package of your favicons and your other icons. It also has all of this HTML code here. And uh, down here, you can kind of see what the icons look like that it generated for you. Um, so first, I'm going to go ahead and download this package. And let's go ahead and unzip that. And now you can see why this tool would be so useful because uh, all of these images here um, are for different devices. You have your Apple Touch devices and all the different sizes that you're supposed to have for that. You have your Androids, uh, your favicons, and things like that. So to make all those from scratch uh, from yourself and resizing all those would kind of be a hassle. But with this, just does it all in the one nice zip folder and you're good to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these and copy 28 items and then I'm going to open up my test website here and you can see up here in the top left that I don't have a favicon yet so let's go ahead and paste all those into the root of the website and then if we go back to where it generated our HTML we can copy this to the clipboard now it says it's copied and if I open up my test website here then I can go and paste this into my top of my index.html file and that's all the code that it generated for me and I will tab that over and save that and if you're running a basic website that should be all that you have to do yeah you should be able to save that file and then those favicons will show up uh, I'm running a yeoman website here so uh, I'm just going to do a grunt build to build that website and it'll quickly run through those and now that that built all my files I should be able to go over here to my test website and reload this 
Uh, so actually, since I'm running this from my local web server, uh, this relative path to these images is going to be a little bit different. Usually you will have these at the root of your website. Most likely when you put them in your live website, they'll be at the root. Um, but just for the sake of demonstration here, I'm going to um, change these to where um, to where it can find this in the same folder uh, that my website lives. And now let me rerun this grunt build. And now let's see if it can find those icons. Okay, so now you can see here that the uh, fav icon is showing up in my web browser. Uh, if you know if this was a live website uh, and you drop that code in there in those images, then uh, you would also you know if you saved that website to your iPhone, then that icon would pop up. It would uh, save on your Android and all those devices. That's what that website does for you. It creates. Um, all those icons for your site's brand and um, uh, creates those to where uh, they're accessible on all those devices. And one last quick thing about this website, if I go back to the main page here, once you've dropped in all your icons and updated all your code uh, to point to those icons, then you want to go down here to your uh, to this check your five icon here and it'll give you um, a little box here to type in your website and you can also say if your uh, favicon isn't in the root directory of your website and just tell it that uh, you know where to look um, but in my case uh, if I go to my personal website here coreyms.com and my favicons and all my icons are in the root of my website so then if I click this check button here it's going to go out and check your website and it's going to make sure that it can find all those icons and that that those are accessible from all the different devices. Um, so you can see all these are in the green here. So it's and it shows you a preview too of what each one of them looks like. So on the desktop, uh, here's what it looks like in your browser. This is the Android, iOS, Windows 8, and then it also gives you all kinds of information here saying that you, you know, you have the right sizes, that you have um, the right file formats, the PNGs, um, and things like that. So, you know, it's really useful. Uh, I used to do all this on my own. It took a lot of time for not that big of a payoff. Uh, but, you know, for this, you can make a quick icon, drop it into this website, <clears throat> get all your icons generated, get all the code for it, drop those in, and you're good to go for just about any device that you can think of. So I hope this tip was useful for you guys. Uh, you should definitely go and check out this website. Um, you know, if you have any questions, just ask in the comment section below and thank you for watching.